What time is it? Hi everyone, this is Kunru Ai and welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to tell the analog time. Are you ready? To start with, let us look at the parts of the clock. A face of a clock has numbers and hands. The long hand is called the minute hand. It takes the whole hour to move all the way around the clock. The short hand is called the hour hand. It moves a lot slower than the minute hand. It shows what hour we are in whenever the long hand is pointing to 12 it tells us o'clock o'clock is used at 12 hours it means there are no minutes for example this short hand is pointing to one so this time reads as one o'clock it's one o'clock it's four o'clock it's four o'clock It's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. It's ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock. If the long hand is pointing to six, it is called half pass it means the long hand move halfway around the clock as you can see the short hand is pointing between four and five because it's making its way towards five o'clock this time reads half past four it's half past four. It's half past nine. It's half past nine. It's half past five. It's half past five. It's half past seven. It's half past seven. Whenever the long hand travels a quarter of the way around the clock, it tells as quarter past. The minute hand is now pointing to three. As you can see, the short hand is just past the number two. So this means the time on the clock is quarter past two. It's quarter past two. It's quarter past eight. It's quarter past eight. It's quarter past twelve. It's quarter past twelve. It's quarter past six. It's quarter past six.
The minute hand tells how many minutes have passed. It starts at 12, which is zero minutes. It moves to one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. It means five minutes pass. Each number on the clock is multiple of five. One five is five. Two fives are ten. So, ten minutes pass. Three fives are fifteen. But, it is generally known as quarter pass. Four times five equals twenty. So, twenty minutes pass. Five times five equals twenty-five. Six times five equals thirty. But, we called it half pass. It's ten past six. It's ten past six. It's five past four. It's five past four. It's twenty past three. It's twenty past three. It's twenty five past ten. It's twenty five past ten. As you can see, the minute hand is pointing at the number nine. When a minute hand is pointing at the number 9 of an analog clock, we say quarter to because there is only a quarter of an hour left until we reach the next hour. If you look at the hour hand, it is almost at the number 4. This means that it is quarter to four because there is a quarter of an hour left until it is four o'clock. It's quarter to two. It's quarter to two. It's quarter to twelve. It's quarter to twelve. It's quarter to one. It's quarter to one. Remember that the first half of the clock as minutes pass, the hour and the second half of the clock as minutes to the next hour. The minute hand tells how many minutes have passed. At 12, zero minutes have passed. How many minutes need to pass until we reach the next hour? At this point, let us use minutes to. As you can see, it is one minute to the next hour, two minutes to, three minutes to, four minutes to, five minutes to. So, at 11, the minute hand is five minutes to the next hour. Let us continue to count and find out how many minutes to the next hour? So, this is 5 2.
ten to. Fifteen minutes to. But it is generally known as quarter to. This is twenty to. Twenty-five to. And thirty minutes to. But we call it half past. As you can see, the hour hand almost reached the number 9 and the minute hand to 11. This is 5 minutes to 9. So, we can say that it is 5 to 9. It's 5 to 9. It's 20 to 11. It's 20 to 11. It's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7. It's time to practice. Are you ready? Thank you. 